When I think back to the person I was a few years ago, I think of a lot of things. I am supposed to be filming today. However, I don't really feel like it. I think of her as someone who is trying to figure it out. Not that I've figured it out, but who was even more lost than I am now. Yoo-hoo! Big summer blowout! Just kidding! It's November! I see someone who is vibrant, yet who is also missing a few colors and maybe the vibrancy hurts a little bit, like it's too much for the naked eye. How can someone who shines so brightly hurt so much on the inside? I don't understand. As someone who's been there, it feels like you're being snuffed out. And here's the thing, I'm not trying to make anybody feel guilty. I don't mean that. This is literally for myself. I took these photos because I knew that I would one day look back and I would see just how fucking sad I was. And I'd be grateful that I wasn't there anymore. And that's why I'm doing this here right now. And I'm making myself emotional. Oh my goodness. This is literally just proof to myself that I am strong enough, I am capable enough, and I'm resilient enough to get through all of that. And I have enough strength to keep going and to keep succeeding. And you know what? It's, it's time for the sad piano music to stop because I'm not there anymore. That's not me. This is not to say that I don't still struggle because I do, 
and I'm still finding my own spot, my own place in the world. I don't altogether know where I'm going to be in a couple of months because that is just unknown. It's a mystery and I think that is wonderful that that is my future and I'm going to discover what it is. So if you are interested, subscribe. I would very highly appreciate it. As I imagine, I would still keep posting and documenting what's happening and hopefully I can get better at this and just continue to improve mentally and as a person and everything and anything in between. Kinkumkin, I love you. Bye.